up? It's your girl Haitian doll. That's Sophia back at again with another YouTube video. Sock passe, come on here, all that, all that. Before we get into today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a shout out of the day in the outfit of the day. So let's get into it. A shout out of the day is going to Terry Vassal, and her recent video was Fall Ready Makeup Look Bold Dark Lips by Terry Vassal, and she uploads new videos every week. She has 1.67k subscribers, and I'm gonna try to go in depth with my shout outs more and more as I go along my channel because you know we want to progress. But yeah, go ahead, check out her channel. She has a lot of makeup tutorials. She also has a little bit of vlogs, a little bit of um, nail tutorials, hair tutorials, and mostly centered around beauty things. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out her channel. So let's get into the outfit of the day. So you already know after this, I'm going to the gym. So I have on this, on this Marvel Muscle Tee t-shirt, and then I have on my Spalding navy blue leggings, and it has a little bit of design on the side. Then I have on my regular gym shoes, light pink Nikes, basic running shoes that I usually wear. And I also need to get some new um, running shoes for the gym, like some black ones, because I used to just wear my mom's, because me and my mom wear like similar size. But since I'm not home right now, you know, that could be kind of difficult. But if you are new to the dollhouse, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Make sure you smash the notification bell so you don't miss any of the Saucy Empire content that I will be producing per usual make sure you like it comment so i can interact with you and i can know that you are here make sure you check out terry Vassal's channel as i said in the beginning everything will be in the i card description and on the screen so you guys can get all the resources to check out her channel okay the purpose of today's video i'm going to be talking about the mixed baby fetish okay so what is that exactly is the mixed baby fetish i'm going to give you guys the google definition of it and then i'm going to give you my simple turn definition of it in my own words to google i clicked on an article and it's on madamnoir.com and it says what exactly the motive behind the constant attention on mixed race children on these pages anyway why only these kids and as for the children who are not mixed what about them how should they feel or their parents feel as su about such promotion then it goes on to say throughout the years mixed race children have been publicly is obsessed over for their features their appearance alone allows them to live a different life from their counterparts for instance look at northwest and royalty brown both biracial celebrities kids we've watched society praise and admire them for their beauty and their features both girls of color with naturally soft curly hair and lighter skin they are fond over their racially ambiguous appearance somehow automatically sets them in a category of their own making the experiences they will encounter very different from those of a child who just identified with one race the article basically summed up how mixed race children are obsessed over their are fetishized because of their look but not every mixed race child comes out with light brown skin um like three type three hair and light eyes not every mixed race child comes like that some people some mixed race child come out my skin color with my type my type four hair they could come out with four a hair four b hair four c hair they could come out dark skin they could come out light skin with four c hair you never know what you could get but the poster child for a mixed race child is basically light skin um light eyes sometimes light hair and basically looser um textured hair so why do people obsess over mixed race kids like mixed race kids look better than the average white kid or the average black kid and we really have to stop pushing that stigma onto people because at the end of the day there are beautiful black kids there are beautiful white kids and we can't just want a child to be mixed just because they're gonna look like um that certain thing because you never know how your child could come out looking what you're gonna do then deny that's your child because they don't look how you wanted them to look which is ridiculous so i just really wanted to talk about this because i feel like people are not understanding when you say oh i want mixed kids i want to date a black man as a white woman or as a hispanic woman for just for you to have a mixed child that is so ignorant and stupid like you should want to be with somebody and want to have kids with them because you love them or you want to marry them because you love them not because you want to have mixed kids like that is so ignorant this whole mixed baby fetish is really deep rooted from slavery and all the racism from years back because as um woman slaves were raped by their masters 
or they had any sexual relationship with their masters or whatever they end up having a mixed race child and then they would see them they would they would be like the child they don't know whether to accept the child as black or as white so they would just they would call them different kind of names but they would still deem them as desirable because they still had that white mix in with them if you try to understand what i'm saying so i feel like now today being black is something that um other races um appreciate but they want like they don't want you to be all the way black if you're gonna have children with them they want their kids to have a little bit of everything that's their way of saying that yes i like black people and my like my um beliefs are more progressive now than they were years ago when black people weren't that accepted into society but i still want my kids to be half black or half hispanic or half latino because i don't want them to be all the way black because it also could be seen that they're denying that they don't want the parts of their culture to be tr transmitted all the way which is why they probably don't date a latino hispanic or um white man or they're denying the fact that there is still some prejudice to black people in their heart but they can't really just come in tune with it so that's what i have a problem with like you're saying you want a mixed race child but you're not saying nothing about how you love the person you just worrying about the child looking like this which is ridiculous anybody can be pretty anybody could be handsome it doesn't have to do with whether you mix asian indian hispanic haitian jamaican cuban whatever it doesn't have nothing to do with that and i also want to talk about the whole blazing thing so the whole word of blazing i don't even know when they invented it i want to say probably when i was starting high school or maybe in the middle school or it probably even started um seventh grade i don't know but the whole blazing thing okay i understand you're black and you're asian but now i feel like people are really obsessing over that whole stigma of you being blazing like everybody's like oh if you blazing i want you i want you i want you i want you and i feel like a lot of people are responsible for um putting this whole you gotta date a mixed girl you gotta date an exotic girl like you can't really date the everyday black girl or the everyday hispanic girl people still consider hispanic people exotic as you heard from the words of 50 cent and little wing but yeah i feel like they're really pushing the fact that they people don't they don't want people dating their own race like and i feel like when you look at celebrities that push that um that stigma and that whole agenda it makes you kind of ascribe to that view especially if you look up to those people i understand you don't choose who you want to love but you for you to blatantly respect disrespect black women or any woman of any race or cultural background to un un uplift another that's just wrong just like i understand you may like latino women whatever you say that's a preference but in reality that's really racist and colorist and you really can't really put preference over everything and just put a band-aid over everything because at the end of the day what's racist what's racist and what's colorist is colorist people are thinking oh but what if somebody says they want an um all black child um okay i can understand where that could be an issue to some extent because it feels like it's they're kind of like being racist towards other cultures but as long as you're not because y'all will scream preference 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 all day but we never can't take into accountability that you as a black person don't like black girls or you as a black woman don't like black men and then you'll be like oh i dated one black guy and this that and third i had a bad experience one person doesn't speak for all i understand you may have experiences they may be bad but you can't just get just take one person that give you a bad experience from that culture or that race and be like i'm done it's done so now let's say that um a hispanic man um robbed you and it was just random like you just happened to be on the scene of the robbery so then the rest of your life you're gonna be scared of hispanic men like what no i understand and there's like therapy to go through that and it probably would take months it probably would take years but don't just stereotype people because of your experience because at the end of the day it is wrong to stereotype and i know as black people we get stereotyped a lot especially haitians we get stereotyped a lot so i try not to stereotype because i done heard so many general generalizations 
about black people and Haitian people and it's just really scary how people could just make assumptions about a person they drag crap about you and they sitting here saying stuff about you because their past experiences and I understand like I said sometimes you're gonna have experiences in your life and they're really gonna define what you think about a person that you haven't even met but at the end of the day it is wrong so I want you to try to work through these things because you can't spend the rest of your life hating hating a whole race of people and a whole culture of people because of something and that ties into the mix baby fetish as well because as it said in that article they're deemed more desirable and sometimes they even get more opportunities because of the way they look because it's wrong to see someone because they look a certain way and be like oh i'm gonna treat them better because they look like this when you don't know nothing about them just because they're mixed or just because they're white that's stupid and that's ignorant and we shouldn't even be thinking about this and have people think about this in this day of age because at the end of the day the world has progressed so much from 10 years ago five years ago because the more and more we sit and put labels on people from their cultural background and be like this person mixed this person's asian this person's indian this person's cuban this person that this person this the more and more we're setting cultural divides to and say how we're going to treat people and that shouldn't be based on anything i understand you see somebody you think they're beautiful but it doesn't have nothing to do with you being mixed it doesn't have nothing to do with none of that i don't care whether you mixed or not if you look good you look good it doesn't matter so i just really wanted to get that point across and i really think the mixed baby fetish is something stupid it's something ignorant and I don't understand why people are still walking around today saying I want to mix a baby and don't even know nothing about you, the content of your character. They don't know nothing about you. All they want to know is you're black, you're a man, you're going to give me a mixed baby. That's it. That's stupid. Um, I understand if you're following with somebody black, fall in love with somebody that's black, but still, you probably fall in love with them and then as time goes on, you realize you're going to have a mixed baby and now you're like, you really want to have kids with them. And that's also wrong. You want to have a baby with somebody because there's somebody outside your culture body for who they are and love your children for who they are, whether or not they come out mixed or not, whether or not they come out your race, anything, whether or not they come out your skin color, whatever. Just love the person for who there is and that's it. So that's all I have to say about that topic. Let me know what you guys think. And I really appreciate you guys for everything, all the love and the support. And yeah, I'm just going to sit down and talk to you guys before I end out the video. So make sure you sign the petition down below. As I always say, Black Lives Matter. They always have. They always will. Make sure you guys go ahead and vote wherever you are. Make sure you check out Terry Vassal's channel. Like I said, iCard, description, and on the screen. And... I think that's all I have for you guys today. Not for long, but I will see you guys in the next video. With love and with care, be best and don't be stressed. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of the saucy and fire content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Haitian Doll, Dot Sophia, out.